Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be doing a uh, Sonic podcast. Uh, today I have some Sonic tubers, and we're going to be talking about the the Sonic Movie Two set photos. As you guys know already, uh, the Sonic Movie Two is currently filming, and uh, some set photos have been released. So we're going to be just basically talking about this kind of stuff, discussing you know everything that we've seen so far. And you know just have like a general good talk so uh i just want to say uh hi to you know ender electrics how you doing man uh hello i'm ender electrics i'm pretty good novica how you doing man no good when i see these pictures holy shit yeah uh vmeg how you doing man hey uh i'm doing good Ooh, v great native fool oh what's up man Woo, native fool. hey what's up it's, um, i'm fucking hungry first thing we're going to talk about is um the filming locations for the Sonic Movie 2. Obviously, you guys know already, uh, Hawaii, was it, Gross Mountain, North Vancouver. I think that's what it's called. Um, that's been a location that we've seen. So, clearly, clearly, this is a um, Superman movie. Um, you can <laughs> no, tell that he's, <laughs> he has the ice it's castle. This is Frozen 3, everyone. I thought yeah, it was a I remake know. of Cool Runnings. So we can all see that, yeah. Yeah. So I just want to, like, ask, you know, you know, what do you guys think of this? Is this like a Sonic World, maybe Ice Cap? You know, what's everyone thinking so far? Oh yeah, this is definitely like Ice Cap. Unless they're like, this is just some random location, they're not doing Probably. a reference. But it definitely seems like a really, really obvious Ice Cap like reference. Doesn't matter if it's Ice Cap or not for me. The The most important thing is that if we have this setting, we need to see Sonic snowboarding. That's the only thing that matters here. <laughs> You're right. Probably, yeah. I would, yeah. I would love to see Sonic snow, Sonic snowboarding. That would be epic. I want to talk about like these huskies. Like, what do the huskies have to do with the scene? Like, what do you think is going on here? This is probably for the uh, main character. What, what's that? What's that? What's that? Um, what's that human character called <laughs> Tom or something like that? I don't know his Tom. name. Tom. Yeah, this is probably for Tom. He's probably out in, in somewhere Alaska. I don't know where that is. Um, you know, I'm snowboarding. Alaska. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's my guess. Vmeg, what are you thinking? Could be ice cap, or maybe they do something like maybe Christmas themed in the movie. So like maybe a time skip or something. Like during that first year when Sonic moved in with Tom and his uh, wife or girlfriend or whatever. So like maybe mm -hmm. it's that, or like everyone else has been saying, it could be ice cap. What do you guys think about all these set pictures being leaked? Do you guys like this? Because honestly, though, at first I liked it, but now I don't really like it. Because what if they spoil something that's really important to the movie? I'm just asking to you uh, guys. No, they will make sure that that will not be spoiled. I'm pretty sure. I think we already have the like the biggest questions. Like we have knuckles, we have gun. I think that's enough. I don't want to watch the movie through pictures and spoiling like yeah said photos. I want to watch the movie. I think uh, if anything else leaks, I'm, I don't want to watch it. They've been like lenient in people like being able to photograph and stuff because otherwise, you know, if there's like important stuff, uh, then they would probably say like, "Yo, put your cameras down. You can't see this," because like, like or maybe yeah. they'll like uh, do oh, like very yeah. spoiled stuff in the uh, like just in studios or something. I don't think they'll just blindly like spoil the whole movie uh, out in the public. You know, don't think that'll happen. Especially because they know how dedicated Sonic fans are, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. they know they're gonna milk anything for those images. Wait, wait, but they, but maybe they know how dedicated Sonic fans are, but does the fans know how dedicated Sonic fans are? Some people just want, you know, like when they find something that's really interesting, they were immediately uploaded on YouTube. It's like, that's how Sonic fans work. They like, <laughs> like what, what if, what if like he, ex yeah. Don't go gotta on, check go for Sorry, sources. Man. You just gotta post, post that video. That's it. Exactly, and like, what if someone accidentally? Now I want to say accidentally. I'm purposely found a like, you know after credits of Shadow the Hedgehog, and it takes a picture of that and uploads on Twitter or something like that. That's gonna ruin. That the, would the, that yeah. would ruin right. everything. I, I'm not right. gonna lie. That would ruin everything. The one thing that leads me to believe that this may not even be Ice Cap is the fact that there are huskies there because you know how in Sonic Wars everyone's anthropomorphic. Yeah. They are real. Yeah, These right. are real huskies. Like, this probably can't be like. I don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't think there's huskies on Angel. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna I'm try to counterdict that. But wait, yeah, there might be real huskies. But Sonic has always been in the living world. It's like there's there like Sonic's kind of mixture mixed like with living world and you know with animal. Yo, humans. wait, hold on a second. Isn't isn't Ice Cap on Angel Island? Oh yeah. 
Oh so yeah, Ice Cap is on AG Lyman. So it makes sense Shouldn't for Knuckles to be there. Shouldn't they have already like met Knuckles then at this point? So, yeah. That's Maybe a, a way that the whole island comes to the the real world. Here's he is, he is a picture in my head. We got Angel Island in the real world. It's Sonic battling Eggman and Knuckles because uh, they are looking for, and this is why they're going to be introduced in the movie, the Chaos Emeralds. And one, it's in the Ice Cap. And they're battling there. There's a giant avalanche and Sonic snowboards. I don't know. I just want Sonic snowboarding. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just I'll, some I would see why that. Sonic would snowboard. There's no way that there's no way that Sonic snowboarding is not going to be in the scene, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe this is just a non-Sonic scene. Oh yeah, basically. Uh -huh, this maybe. Is something, They're just filming this might be something completely, completely different, different movie. <laughs> yeah, a completely uh, different movie. Maybe this is like the area where like Robotnik comes back. You know, because right. we know he's gonna come back somehow. Maybe mm -hmm. this is like where he lands. Maybe ends up in like some ice world. Like ends up with a pack. Like uses the huskies. Maybe to maybe travel back. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's a possibility as well. It can be like a big thing Man, or a small been, thing. We've <laughs> been be analyzing this like what twenty six second clip yeah. for like how long now? Exactly. Like, so it could be <laughs> it could be like a giant battle scene, or it could be just like a vacation scene, like uh, you mentioned. It could yeah. be nothing, it could be something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, carrying on, um, we have Robotnik here, as you can see. What do you guys think? I'm seeing we, he's like flying on some Yeah, okay, wire. you know what? He's he's bald. Uh, that's good enough for me. That's good he's enough for me, He's not wearing his yeah. red suit, though. Maybe they're going like in a different direction. As long as yes. Robotnik looks like Robotnik, I'm cool. That's good. The way he looked at the end of the first movie, it's perfect. No, nah, as long as it's Jim Carrey, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they're going to pull up Mortal Kombat Annihilation to have a completely different cast. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my my guess of this, um, of this uh, image right here is either two things, either... Robot, either Robotnik has a rocket, rocket like jetpack behind his jet back, pack, or pack. or he's ejecting out of his seat like he does in all of when he gets defeated. You know how, you know, he ejects. I mean, he's holding something, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe he's like on the tether of a helicopter, or like holding Metal Sonic or whatever. That would make Tails, sense, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Why would Tails? Help <laughs> yes, Eggman? that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Tails and Eggman are gonna team up because we've already got like the Knuckles rivalry, where like at, probably at the start of the movie is gonna be like, oh Sonic, and oh, like, I and then am. at the end of the movie they're gonna be best buds or whatever, the trio. So I don't think they'll have the same conflict with Eggman and Tails as well. Yeah, uh, speaking of Tails, there's something I don't know if it's deviating a lot from what we've seen, but do you think Tails knows Sonic in this movie? Uh, I would say yes because at the yes. end of Son the first movie, he's like he's here or whatever. Wasn't this confirmed like last last movie? T yeah. Sonic, Sonic, no, Sonic was a mythical creature, and then Tails learned about him in some, you know, history stuff, and he was like ready to find him. He was trying his best to find mm -hmm. him. Yeah, I I'll pre I'm pretty sure that was the story. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, was, that was, that's how it worked. Tails only knew about yeah. him like, through like history, some some history. What do you guys think of like the new uh, the new costume? It's all black, you know. Maybe we'll, I, I was I, I was expecting you know he, to be in his classic red suit, but it looks here that he's in like a completely different suit. Yes. As long uh, as long as Robotnik has his goggles, bald and stash, he could wear a dress for all I care. He's Eggman. He's, yeah. Isn't he Eggman, nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Eggman, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So moving on, we're going to talk about these Sonic models now. These set photos of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. I'm gonna send oh, some god. pictures. Oh, the big film. ones. Oh, oh god. Yeah, yeah, I just wanna ask you guys. Uh, obviously, this is like our first look of Knuckles. So we know that Knuckles is gonna be in this film. What do you guys think of you know his look? You know, we know it's a model, but you know it looks a little different. I think we already had a look at how I already imagined how it's going to look because we we got a glimpse of what the echidnas looked like at the beginning of the first movie, so right. it's not really that big of a change. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to know where it's like crest in the chest is. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sonic has like a white belly too. I don't think they're gonna be like really <laughs> accurate. Yeah, and now that's, that's no, that's yeah, they're not really gonna be accurate. It's like. You literally just need to change like the color on the texture. I I don't think it's I don't think they're gonna do that for the final movie. It's such a small detail that they can just so easily add. It, it would be pointless to remove it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Um, about everything about the kidnas, Yeah, they were kind of similar, but they were kind of smaller. 
compared to knuckles yeah this knuckles is the beef. this is the perfect blend of boom knuckles and regular knuckles i really do mm-hmm. love it because yes he knuckles is canonally taller than sonic and tails obviously oh, he's yeah. supposed to be bigger than sonic and tails and i just love it like his proportions is like perfect like he's not too big not too small can we get a round of applause for my man tyson hess thank you so much i don't did tyson hess make that did tyson hess make that did he make that model or is it, I mean, he or designed not, the remake of Sonic. Did, so. I mean, he designed the characters. Dude, you reminded me, Ty- Tyson has liked my post on Twitter. My biggest concern is that <laughs> if Knuckles at some point in the movie chuckles, I'm not watching it anymore. <laughs> you yeah. sly dog. Breaker. Will that be a uh, Uganda Knuckles reference? Oh my god, oh, actually. That, I swear. That's, after, after seeing I Sonic, swear. I'm pretty sure that's actually something that we need to look out for. I don't know, maybe... Crazy Carl or I swear to something. God, if they if they actually find out a way how to put you got <laughs> knuckles in this movie, <laughs> I'm gonna break something. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna break something. Like I mean, they did it with okay, Sanic. About, they know we know we can do it. We know they can do it. Okay, okay, okay. About Sanic though, I specifically said that Sanic. They actually knew how, like this was when they put Sanic in the movie. That was the perfect way to put a meme. I am oh, yeah. sorry. That was a perfect way to put it. Me, mm-hmm. if they find yeah, it, it's like it. It was understandable by the audience as well, and that's really hard to do when you're. Give me a scenario. How have you got oh, Knuckles? Days, to work. I just realized. What if Crazy Cole is the first person to see Knuckles and he draws you got the Knuckles? Oh, beautiful. If, that, that's if that's how it works, I'm gonna just straight up and say like, okay, that's dumb. You did it twice. Come on, it was unique the first time. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. do it the second time. Like, how how would they make Knuckles that squishy if he's tall? Like what? I mean, if he sees tails, what's he gonna draw? Tails doll? Or... No, he's gonna <laughs> draw. He's, no, he's gonna draw tails sitting on a bench. That's it. Oh no! Oh no! Let's not go there. <laughs> All right. So I just want to ask, what role do you think like Knuckles is gonna be doing in this film? Will it be like a rival first, or will it be you know? A oh yeah, villain? he'll definitely. Yeah. Start yeah. Off I, think right. I think they're gonna like. I think they're gonna the pull end. like a Sonic Three, where like he's gonna be an annoyance at first, going against Sonic and Tails, and then I don't mm-hmm. know something's gonna make him like them, and then they're gonna be best buds. He's gonna get sapped again by Eggman. Yeah. Uh, who, who do you want to uh, voice Knuckles? Would it be The Rock? Jason oh, that's, Moa, that's still person. like a big debate. Don't, we don't have a, a clear word of that, right? It's still a debate. Dude, if they replace Colleen for us Hills, I'm gonna cry. Well, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. They we'll might do there. that. Uh, that's what I feel right now. I'm kind of scared, that'd too. That'd be so sad. Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> do you think Jason Momoa would be a good voice for Knuckles? Or do you think they should just cast someone new or a celebrity or... After watching Injustice, I think not. The tough guy's know. voice is ca- kind of like I don't know. I feel like a lot of voices fit Knuckles, like yeah, I don't even know, The Rock, Jason Momoa. Yeah, it's gotta I mean, be it's like, tough. Sort of like I feel like some like electric like remake. Like we all can do Knuckles. All right, moving on. I want to talk about Tails. I want to talk about what his role will be in the movie. Yeah, Tails has no Tails confirmed because of the statue. I'm very disappointed with that. It tells his head is too boxy, man. Like I've, every time I look at his head, I think we're playing Minecraft. Like seriously, <laughs> his head is okay, so square, is like the, dude. That is the design, though, of him. That's his design. Like Sonic is a circle, Knuckles is a triangle, and Tails is a square. Isn't Was it? are you serious? I never noticed yeah. that. Yeah, actually, you, yeah, no, no, no. Oh my god. That's a really good way of thinking. I didn't even notice that. That was pretty nice. That is that is very unique. Oh my god, that is. I'm just like my mind is literally blown about that. So I want to talk about my. I'm trying to talk about his role though. My my idea of his role of Tails being in there. He's obviously going to be since he's since in his first movie he's obviously going to be a tech guy. He's going to be the guy to hack Doctor Eggman's system. He's going yeah, to be the guy. Yeah, you like a little. Yeah. A little he's, Miles Electric when he uh, entered the real world. He's world. going to be the Uber too, by the way. He's going to be the Uber, the airplane Uber. Yeah, me. actually, that brings up question: Are we going to see the tornado in this movie? He didn't build it yet, so mm, I don't think so. I mean, so. Uh, the tornado is Sonic's, right? I, it'd be really weird if, like, Sonic. Yeah, but Sonic was had, a, had a Sonic was airplane. a baby when he like left his world. I don't think he has a plane anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then again, exactly. Tails, Tails just arrived without a plane, so. <laughs> Tails, ba- yeah, I think Tails didn't. I'm pretty sure Tails might make his own tornado. Yeah, because like if it. if if they need to go to Angel Island, Tails obviously can't grab Knuckles and Sonic. Right, is is Angel Island in this movie? Well, yeah, yeah that's so the thing. I think. Well, you think uh, Angel Island is gonna be like a place in the real world? Since like Green Hill and apparently Hilltop are places in the real world here. Well, isn't it like? 
I, I always thought that like the real world was uh, a parallel to Sonic's world. So like they all still had the same names, but like, I mean, we 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 even saw Green Hill in 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 Sonic's world, right? Yeah, but I don't know. We like, don't know if that was. There's no way Green they Hills. call they call that a different name. Like, I'm pretty sure that they're just parallel universes, and one's like more human, and the other's more like Sonicy. Um, I don't know what to think. Of th- I don't know what to think about that. That's pretty good. You know, we're gonna talk about gun now. In the games, they say G U N, but like every Sonic fan just says gun. That's how. <laughs> well, G U N is sounds a little bit more professional. That's the way, and then we, yeah, I know. Abbreviated to say gun, uh, obviously that's better. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. But I hate it when like they have it in a fan game and then they switch between the two and it just annoys me. Yeah, just go with one gun. G U N. Yeah, let's go with one. These are just the vehicles. We're gonna focus on the vehicles right now. So obviously. We've seen the uh, the vehicles of the helicopters, you know, the gun logo, some tanks, you know, the SA2, Sigma Alpha 2, maybe a reference to SA2, you know. I see. The Mean Bean coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Gun, well, how do you think they're going to be incorporated into this film? Just like just mm. like any other government, they would try to snicker, stick their nose, anything that's what's going on. And... I, right. Like in like in the first movie, the gu- like gun was introduced in the first movie too, basically by just introduced by Doctor Robotnik. Gun? I just right? thought it was like a regular like military. Yeah, wait, wait. Well, I have an idea though. What if like because of like what happened with Sonic and Eggman, like gun was made because of like Sonic's existence. Oh, hmm, that that's work. interesting. Yeah, but one. like, what if what if, what if it already existed though? Because no, no. Because the entire that entire town witnessed Eggman versus Sonic. You know, so like, what if you know cameras and stuff saw that? You're like, okay, we need to have gun for like certain. Yeah, we need to have better better defense. Yeah, yeah against yeah. like especially since threats. it was Sonic who like fried every electronic and like a giant radius in the first movie. So they they really want to keep mm-hmm. an eye on it, especially at the yeah. end of the movie when they say you haven't seen him again, right? I think they I think they're just trying to capture him, capture him, or maybe just like experiment on them like eggman i don't know oh yeah this is like can you guys see this video yeah let me watch it real quick yeah let me watch it maybe maybe right now they're trying to capture tails or something maybe they're flying right now because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff flowing past them so basically i remember i remember seeing a a video of some gun agent actors playing with someone's dog and i thought that was just really wholesome are those guns or like laser blasters (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they look like this, uh, this last picture is a uh, picture of the gun commander. Well, that's what uh, that's what we believe who that is. That I mean, if we're gonna right have, if we're gonna have stuff from Adventure Two, I need to see the precedent in this movie. I just want. <laughs> yes, let's. let's see I the wonder. Precedent. I wonder if the Shadow of the Hedgehog story, Black Doom, is gonna be in it. Interesting. That's I don't the worst think so. Villain. That's the worst so. villain ever. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He's the worst villain ever. I don't, I don't even think they care about black dude <laughs> yeah I, I, we don't care why would I think they, they want to avoid all of that <laughs> exactly yeah. i don't know where there's like all this trash flying around though i know right yeah like the gust of winds and everything what what do you think that is are they like aiming at eggman's okay hear me hear or? me out hear, hear me out i don't think it will be like an helicopter it'll be like one of uh eggman's uh maybe fortresses like flying fortresses i'm not saying the egg carrier but something like that it could be Tails. Flying battery or something. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it could be Tails. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe... Do you really think Tails is like that? Well, that, that kind of so like goes into Actually, your theory. Actually, yes. If it is Tails, because that's like, oh, you know, new creature. It bring out gun. Mm. Everyone needs to shoot, uh, aim at this new flying creature. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when, when that tails. ring appeared with Tails, there was like a lot of like wind exactly. going around. That's, what, that's my, my logic for saying that it's like an aircraft there. Maybe it could be the tornado or something like that. I don't know. Wait, guys, but didn't the, like, the end of the first movie make it clear that Tails basically flies almost as fast as Sonic yeah, flies, basically? Yeah, Tails is pretty fast. Yeah, pretty fat. That's true. So so I don't think it's going to be so Tails. So maybe it could be an Eggman carrier, maybe. Yeah. I don't think, it could be either I, one, though. I don't think the Tornado would be introduced in this movie at all. I don't think so, either. It was yeah, just like, maybe a cameo at the end of the movie, maybe, maybe like, where they, they make a plane. Maybe something I feel else, like because uh, gonna this be is something though. that I haven't... I don't know if we consider, but do you think they're going to make add another villain other than Eggman? Because we already had Robotnik in the first movie. You think they're going to add another one? There could one? be, like, I don't know, maybe they could turn the president into, like, a villain, or... 
They can turn Gunn as the main villain. I mean, I was, I, I was hearing a lot of people saying that maybe this movie will have Metal Sonic. That will be interesting to see, actually. That's yeah, I mean, question. actually, that could work because here's the thing. If you guys remember, when when Eggman's <gasps> in the Mushroom Land, he has that piece of Sonic's hair, which could power a Metal Sonic. Yeah. You mean it? Could oh work? my God! Perfect, How do we yeah. not think about this? You what? mad I about it? I didn't. I, I'm. I, I flew I over just, my head. No, I, I just said it. <laughs> we just said it. Yeah. That, that, I know, that right? Will is going to be significant for this film. They hinted at that, you know, severely in the last film. Oh yeah. I'll be home by Christmas. Yes, you know? sir. Even Even Sonic OVA references. Sonic OVA references. He's going to build, he's, he's gonna build Metal Sonic RAM, a replica, or use that just to, like power more, you know, egg robots. Because we're not going to get to see mm -hmm. every single character there, so I, I think it'll be kind of like tried or boring if we see uh, the team against our robotic again so i'm pretty sure he's gonna add something maybe metal sonic or something yeah do you think that do you think they're gonna uh, that eggman's gonna change up his designs or do you think he's gonna uh, continue i mean maybe over time he got off. fat from eating maybe a lot of mushrooms maybe and so he has that more eggman looky design i guess if that makes sense <laughs> i mean he doesn't look that got fat, fat in the i mean in that video that we saw he didn't look Burger any King. fatter so i don't know Robotnik is gonna look like uh, Robotnik is gonna look like 06 Eggman though. Like, wait, wait, think about this. Maybe if we got like an SA2 kind of thing, because it's gonna be Metal Sonic with like uh, looking like Sonic. People will confuse her as a Sonic and they're gonna treat it as an enemy. That's why Gun goes to Green Hills to maybe attack the enemy. I don't know. I, okay, that, that's kind of, interesting though. Kind of like a Terminator thing. Uh, Sonic has uh, the Metal Sonic has um, it looks like Sonic, or maybe the old design. <laughs> Then it just removes on a born sub and it just looks like Metal Sonic. That's a good question. Does the government even know what Sonic looks like? Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, we had the previous government, well, another type of government. You know, he, he went to Tom's, you know, door asking, oh, do you know where that little, your little friend went? And he was like, nope, we don't know where he went. He left. So mm -hmm. they were definitely looking for him at the end of the film. Yeah. Okay, so he, yeah, so they so didn't know that. They did the government, or at least the government in Green Hills, know about him. Mm hmm. And you know they had the, like, we basically had half of Green Hills watching the final battle as well. Oh yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty sure word must have spread by the time. Anyways, you know, the that's enough of gun. Let's move on to the next topic. Yeah, this is actually the last bit uh, because uh, Gun has a link to Shadow. Will we see uh, a setup for Shadow in this film? Maybe an after credit scene? Will we get any any anything yeah. to do with Shadow? I feel like we're gonna see an after credits, but I don't know if you guys seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two. When they tease uh, another hero who is like in this casket, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see something like that, like the thing that holds Shadow, and that's it. That's gonna cut the black. Maybe. Like maybe maybe we won't directly see Shadow, but something that will like make it very clear that they're talking or referencing Shadow. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Shadow. Like, like I mean, credits. there could even be something as simple as like I don't know a jailed Robotnik saying talking about creating the ultimate life form, and then they'll be yeah. like, "Oh, that's Shadow." Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. like Robotnik, like especially like Jim Carrey's Robotnik, maybe looking up to his grandfather, could be something that they could delve into because you know our Robotnik, Robotnik here is like a very intelligent guy, so maybe he must have looked up to his grandfather. You know, right? We, we know that he's like what he mentioned that he was like bullied as a kid. Maybe his grandfather was like the only person he was like, you know, had a friendship with or something. So he looked up to. I don't know. Like the that. first movie portraying like a really, like, like a really like alone kind of cartoon character. Like I don't think he can talk to anyone. <laughs> That's the thing. Perhaps, but I think because of Gun being, you know, involved in this film, I think that definitely lead it, leading me to believe that there'll be some sort of shadow set up at least, hints, teasers. I, I, I can see that, yeah. I like the decent. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to end off this video then. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Make sure you subscribe to all of my friends. The links to their channels yeah, will be me. in yeah. the description. Subscribe to me. I'm Ender Electrics on YouTube. Stay safe, boys. I make animated videos, so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in Sonic videos, please subscribe. Subscribe to me, Natafall. I do a lot of crazy stuff. Be, check it out. Be Meg, want to plug? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to make uh, video essays when I can. Very excellent video essays, I must do say as well. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Take care.